Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing well. Got a video for you about AT3's Rugged Carbine Optic. This is a Red Dot site. Uh, first of all, full disclosure, I got this from uh, AT3 to review and share with you guys in the channel and to test out and let them know my feedback. Uh, so far, it's been running great. I will definitely uh, let you guys know in case anything happens, but I've been very happy with this Red Dot site. I've also reviewed the ARO and RD50 in the past. Uh, all three are really nice sites uh, for the money. They are budget sites. I have used them for mainly range use, uh, you know, occasional drills here and there. Uh, nothing serious, but for if you're on a budget, this is probably the best kind of uh, red dot site you can go for uh, for the money. Um, and I would put it along on the, on the same level as uh, SIGs, uh, SIG Romeo, which can be had for around 150 or so, uh, the primary arms MD25. And you guys will see that the, while the SIG Romeo is a little bit of a very small, narrow window, uh, sort of like the RD50, which is a 22 millimeter objective lens, uh, like 8.82 Bushnell TRS-25 kind profile. This is more along the lines of like a Trijicon MRO or like the primary arms MD-25, which are 25 millimeter wide objective lens. Sort of gives you more room to see the reticle, uh, more room to uh, take in more of your surroundings, even when you have both eyes open. So I really like that about this. And this also has the circle red dot reticle, which is sort of like the bullseye reticle as it's known. Uh, big fan of that. Uh, a lot of the hollow suns and the, uh, of course, EOTech is uh, known for that reticle as well. Um, so, like I said before, this definitely I'd put it at the same level as uh, SIG. I would put it at the same level as uh, Bushnell, um, in, like the TRS-25 type sites. And uh, other than that, if you are looking for anything else from AT3, they do have a whole line of iron sites, their own rails, uh, their own um, upper receiver sets. Uh, some stuff can be out of stock because of the, just the demand nowadays, but they generally have their red dot sites in stock. And ready to go. They also have a full line of other accessories like Magpul, a um, bunch of other, uh, you know, the classic aftermarket accessories. So if you need anything, check them out there. And they occasionally run deals as well. Uh, they're super responsive, um, really easy to deal with, and I've always had a great relationship with them. Uh, this is the AT3 lifetime warranty. So this is also, I believe, uh, transferable. So if anyone uh, buys this off you, uh, they will also get the lifetime warranty as well. Um, never had an issue so far, and hopefully I don't. Uh, but it's good to have that just in case. All right, you guys can see the specs, and let's open it up. Nice box. Okay, we've got a little brochure of all the different products. We've got sticker with a lifetime warranty card. We've got the manual. We'll tell you how to install the battery, the different parts, operation, and zeroing. We've also got, got your lens covers, rubber lens covers hardware with the different screws so you can uh, adapt it for the different mounts. Here you have the low mount. This is what your red dot sight will come with. Very nicely machined, no burrs, no markings or anything like that. Um, very smooth actually. You've got a riser to bring it up to lower one third. And you have the red dot itself. We'll set that off to the side for a second. Comes with a 20 uh, CR2032 battery, uh, that's already installed in the site. Lens covers, uh, lens wipes. All right, let's take a look at the uh, red dot itself. Let me just close this guy up for a second. There we go. So it uh, does come with flip-up lens caps, which are clear. Very nice. Battery will install in here, your windage and elevation. This is your absolute co-witness mount. Screws in with four screws over here. All the hardware is included, all the tools are included to do that. This is right now absolute co-witness. I could also bring it up to a lower one third co-witness here. So let's just talk about the stats before uh, we roll in some footage of the reticle. Um, so it's a two MOA dot with a 62 MOA circle. Uh, you have, I'll just flip it up so you guys can appreciate pretty clear. Just a little bit of red glare, a little bit of blue tint at close indoor distances. The blue tint will go away when you are outdoors. I do like the fact that they have the flip up caps and I do also like the fact that you have a nice wide objective lens over here so you guys can appreciate how much more uh, you can take in of your environment and you're not restricted to a very small uh, narrow viewing uh, field of view area. Uh, for some reason I, the metal and the finish is actually really really smooth. Um, I don't know if it's a different kind of uh, finish. It is a 6061, I believe. Well, it is a forged aluminum housing. They don't say it if it's uh, what kind of aluminum, but uh, it is uh, 
has shockproof, waterproof circuitry, nitrogen-filled uh, matte black anodized, and it's really, really nice anodizing. You've got very tactile and audible kind of uh, brightness settings. So just believe me, it is definitely tactile and audible here. What else? Uh, like I said, 2 MOA dot, 62 MOA circle. You can do a 50, 200 yard zero with a red dot and a seven yard holdover with the bottom crosshair. That's very useful for when you're uh, at close distances and you have to be, involve your holdovers uh, when you're using your AR at close distances. So you can use that bottom of the crosshair as for seven yards. And that's actually super helpful to have that already built into your reticle. Uh, windage and elevation is 0.5 MOA per click. Uh, you can adjust it up to 90 MOA. Uh, that's your total adjuster, plus minus 45 MOA for a total of 90 MOA, that's really good. Uh, it was e super easy to zero this, not a problem at all. Uh, you don't need any kind of caps, it's tactile and audible. Let's just show you guys how tactile and audible it really is. Hopefully you guys can hear that, that is definitely tactile and audible and nice stiff resistance so it won't be knocked out by a uh, recoil uh, parallax free uh, out to 50, uh, after 50 yards uh, you got a 25 millimeter multi-coated lens two night vision settings nine brightness settings battery life is also up to 50,000 hours on the lowest daylight setting the lowest daylight setting is actually like you guys guys saw not that bright at all so uh, you definitely will have to bump up the brightness uh, but um, you st are still going to get several thousand hours of battery life so if you change your battery, I guess, every one to two years, you should be good to go. Uh, CR2032, CR it's included. It's compatible with the uh, with their red dot mounts and different kind of magnifiers that they provide. So they also have a line of magnifiers, I forgot to mention, for long range. Definitely uh, compatible with that. That's really nice to see. And that should also, um, as long as you have space on your uh, rail for that, um, having a magnifier bef behind that is actually a pretty cool idea. Uh, I have not, I'm not too big into magnifiers. Uh, because for my purpose of use, they're not really, they don't really fill a need, but I may look into trying one out for you guys in the future, and I'm sure it'll be pretty good as well. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can pair that with the, with the Holosun I have on the AR now, or we can pair this with a different, on this, with this AT3 on another AR, and I'll let you guys know how compatible the magnifiers are with different uh, optics. Uh, you have your low mount, your high riser mount, and you have your also, uh, you can do absolute co-witness lower, lower one-third co-witness. Uh, your low mount would be good for your Ruger PCCs, your Tavors, your CZ Scorpions, your AKs. Now, in terms of the recoil that it's rated for, it is rated for anything from uh, 223, obviously, 556, 762, 308, 3030, uh, 12 gauge shotguns, and built to withstand the uh, harsh recoil. Um, if you were to use it on shotgun, you would probably use the low mount, uh, like we just talked about the different platforms that you'd be mounting it on. Also includes these transparent lens caps. They're really nice and clicky, and they flip up pretty well. You guys can see here. And they click into place. They're not wobbly, they're not loose at all. Uh, there's a little bit of a red glare that is common to see uh, if you're looking from a bright area to a not so bright area, very common in red dots. So not to worry there, and that's just the glare from the light. Uh, also very nice, and you can see the lens are pretty transparent. Um, the lens itself, let's just take a look at that. And you guys can see there's just a minimal hint of blue, uh, but really not that much at all. And when you go outdoors, it's even less pronounced. Uh, and I'll roll in some footage right now so we can see the reticle uh, outdoors and at night and in different kinds of settings. So stand by for that.
So in terms of pros, uh, crisp reticle, uh, tactile adjustments, windage and elevation you guys saw was very tactile and audible uh, buttons as well. Let's see if I can get that for you guys. Hopefully that comes across on camera. It's You can definitely hear it and feel it. Uh, so you have a very defined wall on when you're hitting uh, the windage and elevation, when you're hitting the buttons, and so you're not, uh, nothing is getting loose over time, nothing is, uh, you're not, nothing is falling out of adjustment, and nothing is being bumped on accidentally. Uh, adjustable mounting options, uh, I like the really sleek profile on it, it actually looks good, and looking cool is obviously very important. Uh, nice and sleek, nothing to, nothing, no extra buttons or adjustments or anything hanging off the side. Uh, it's a nice slim profile package. Uh, obviously I like this wide lens, I spoke about that before, I like that Moreau style where you can get in a lot more of your environment uh, and uh, see more, and you're not really restricted to that little uh, tube, uh, you're not falling into that tube style effect of most of many common uh, red dots, like the Endpoint Pro, very long red dots that or super tiny runs like the T2 that sort of force you and constrict you to a very small, narrow objective lens. Uh, I like the bullseye reticle, uh, it's perfect for adapt outfitting your firearms inexpensively, so you know you wanna have that duty grade AR with the Endpoint and Eurotech, and all your other ARs can be inexpensive budget red dots, and this is definitely a good one to take a look at in the budget range. Uh, unfortunately, my only cons are it's not made in the U.S. So that's part of the price package that it comes with. Obviously, uh, hopefully we can get more uh, optics and red dots made in the U.S. That's very important uh, to me. But if I'm outfitting uh, firearms on, on a budget, I have to go with these kind of red dots. And I'm happy to support AT3. Uh, they are a U.S. company and they design it here in the U.S. Uh, and then they give a manufacturer uh, out uh, overseas to fulfill their specs. So at least I know they're setting good specs and they're having uh, the American citizen in mind uh, when they design uh, their red dots. Uh, the good part is that the they do often have sales on the red dot. It can go down to 140, uh, but one think 160 is generally the regular price. So they are in stock now, I believe. Uh, AT3 is a pleasure to deal with. They have lifetime warranty, like I said, free shipping on the item, uh, 90 day returns. If you're ever unsatisfied, they'll take, get you uh, taken care of, and that's not an issue at all. So overall, really like this uh, setup. I'll show you. I'll roll in some footage right now of it mounted on an AR, and you guys can take a look at how it looks like. All right, so hopefully you guys, sorry for the shadow, by the way. Hopefully you guys were able to uh, take a look at how it's mounted. Everything mounts up nice. Everything locks up nice. I put it on an absolute co-witness mount. Uh, you can also definitely do the one-third like we spoke about. All the hardware is included. It's one package. You're ready to rock uh, straight out of the box. Just we'll get some CR2032 CR batteries. Uh, probably won't need it because of the battery life, uh, but you should be good to go. I'm not sure if I mentioned there is a six-hour auto shutoff, and the battery life is 50,000 hours on the lowest daylight setting. For me, uh, I, if you guys saw from the uh, brightness footage, I had to bump up the brightness, obviously, in the daytime. So you're not going to get 50,000 hours, but I'm pretty sure if, you know, you're probably not using the red dot as much. Uh, if you change the battery once every two years or so, you should be good to go. Uh, you can even leave it on, but there is a six-hour auto shutoff. So you press it once. You don't have to worry about it. It'll last you the whole rest of the range trip or your day. Um, and what else? Uh, two night vision settings. We spoke about that. So, yeah, in terms of battery life, this is definitely one of the higher... Uh, battery life's out there. Um, put it up with against the Aimpoint and uh, Hollow Sun as well. And big benefit to Red Dots over Hollow Graphics is that the battery life is uh, going to last. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way to auto uh, disable the auto shutoff. Let's say you did want this totally on for home defense. Uh, if there's a way to disable that, uh, I would have to check the manual or reach out to AT3. Uh, but that's definitely a good feature as well. And then you'd only have to change the batteries, you know, every uh, year or so just to be just to be sure that you're not running dry. Uh, so that's it. We're going to wrap up the review over here. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Uh, thanks to AT3 again for uh, sponsoring this video, making it possible. Uh, go check them out. Go check them out. Go check out their other red dots. Big fan of this one and the RD50, uh, the ARO as well. A different application for each. I prefer this one for the AR because of a little bit wider lens. And I do believe that it's a little bit rated to... Uh, I think it would perform a little bit better in terms of the adjustments, in terms of how sleek it is uh, for more of an AR style, uh, AK style platform. Uh, the RD50 is doing great on my 22. And so far I've been super happy. Uh, I know AT3 has come out with a prism uh, dot, I think a 3X uh, as well. And they have their magnifiers. If we get a chance to try those out, definitely let you guys know. And I appreciate you guys all watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care out there.